Well, hello everybody, it's Andy here. This is just what's left of the BP building. Well, the, see that building right there, right? There was about another one and a half of those. Right there. Now it's completely disappeared. It's going to be weird without it. The car I'm walking down, right? You can actually see where the building was. See the bit at the top, it's got hanging out of the roof. That's where the building was attached to. It's going to be really, really strange. And um, we've got visitors' car park, main reception, and loading bay. Um, where? They could at least take a sign down, of course. Um, I wonder if that box over there is the um, is the reception now. Unauthorized access. C, USA people. It's an S, not a Z. Not going to film the uh, advertisement, but yeah, it's going to be really, 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 really weird without this building. Actually, every time I've passed here for the past, oh, possibly maybe the past twenty years, I've lived in Dice. That's always been like a staple point of the whole bit of the whole of Dice. Ignore the trees. But, I don't know. Apparently there's uh, flats going in. Which is else is new. Another C. Another S. Not a Z. And I don't know what that orange monstrosity is. Looks like part of a snorkel or a crane or something. I see if over there they've just ripped out the entire wall where their room was. I mean, talk about. I know, wait a minute, what the hell? The green surrounding thing. What the hell is that? If that was some sort of gate, I really don't know why that would work. Because, I mean, you could just, like, climb right through it. I mean, obviously you can't because of the, uh, because of the, uh, the, the steel mesh there, like, but. Oh, I don't know. Uh, this is another building. Oh, the, this old building over there, right? The uh, the off-white colour, the creamy colour. That's all going as well. See? And they boarded it up. And everything. I mean, this is just like about. 10 minute walk perhaps from my house, 5 minute walk, if I'm really 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 quick. And you see, it's just like an empty shell now of a building. It's going to be really really strange without it. And I don't know what the hell that block is there for, but that's like the most randomest thing ever. You know, I'm just wondering why they've actually secured the building with all this because as you can see over there there's naff all in the buildings to nick it's kind of strange oh look they've, they've, they've had enough and they broke their own barrier they broke their own barrier as you can see like uh, it goes over and then it curves and it goes down there. So obviously, a few dis disgruntled employees or ex-employees have um, possibly just decided to have enough and uh, decided to break the stuff to the out of a job. And that's just plumbing ridiculous. If I don't know if you can see on the camera, but. Um, just over beside the uh, the white bit, in the side of the building, there's a ladder as it goes up to a window, 
And if anybody can climb over this fence thing, this mesh, they'll um, they'll have a free. Well, they'll have a roof over their head for the night for free. Would they recommend a like? But yeah. Thanks for uh, watching. And um, oh look, 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 look! Here's here's what happened with uh, with one of the trees. It's been really, really windy here recently, as in like massively torrential rain. We had thunder yesterday, which is a pretty pointless because we had no lightning whatsoever. And um, which surprises me is the big, massive, chunky trees are falling over, like this one is. You're going to see in a minute, but the the small twiggy little pinky sized ones they are like still standing up straight well this is what the tree is now look as you can see completely torn off the ground away from the roots nothing but bare wood there all together it's just so lucky that it didn't fall over to the main road there you see the car walk going past there it's obviously not as busy just now, but, but um, it will be soon. It will be very soon. So yeah, that's my little blog about the uh, about the uh, BP wilderness over there. Um, I'm not sure if I, I might... Oh, look, look, look! I don't know if you can see that. Whoa! No, oh, that's an awesome car. I don't know what it is. I think it's a kit car of some sort. Uh, I don't know. It, looks, it does look like custom made by someone. But it had, I wonder if it's going to come uh, our way. Oh, no, it's not. Damn. I don't know if you can see the uh, the yellow or the greeny bit over there. It's uh, pretty smart, like. So, thank you for watching. I might do another one of these uh, sometime soon. Depends if you liked it or not. So, um, this is just to be a little bit from, uh, from around about where I live. I'm going to go under some trees just now, so I might go dark, so I do apologise. I'm just going to walk home, because I'm walking home from the bank, which is like miles that way. Well, not miles. A few hundred yards. So, hope you've enjoyed watching this absolute drivel. Sorry for uh, wasting your time. And, um... Oh, here's another car, but it's not, as, uh, not as spectacular as the last one. I've seen a lot of cool cars actually, coming to think of it. I've seen an old vintage... Sorry, Michael Cole fans, I did say vintage there. And Sir Michael Cole. I've seen a vintage uh, Ford T Ford uh, yeah, the other day, around beside my grandma's. And apparently my mum knows the guy who owns it. I'm just wondering if he could maybe take me for a spin on it. Obviously, I'm not going to drive because I can't drive. I don't have a license, and um, no doubt I'll probably crash the thing. But um, yeah, hopefully you can. I am going now. I'm beginning to get a little bit of strange looks because I'm just talking to myself. So um, I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching, as I said before, and I will possibly make another one of these if it seems popular or even if a couple of you like it remember you can follow me on twitter at andy gcg at andy golf charlie golf and you can follow me on there and i will tweet you back i will follow you back even as well so i will see you soon god bless no that's ridiculous Take care, spike your hair. That's Zach Ryder would say. Sorry, Zach. Have a great weekend. And all the best. See you later. That's me, Andy Gibson, signing out.